Hi guys, and in this Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can add some more realistic lighting to our scene. So, um, I've got a scene already set up here, and uh, we're using Cycles Render. Um, you can see we've already set up a background, and this background is an emitter. Um, so it's giving us some light to our scene. We have a ground plane, which is a mixed shader, a mixture of a gloss and a diffu diffuse. And then we have our model, which is a glass, which is using the cycles renderer um, glass surface. So um, we, we covered all this in a, another tutorial, the link for which can be found below. Or you can actually download this scene um, already, also from the link that you can find in the description for this video. So um, once you have set up your scene and rendered everything um, as this, and we go through to our camera view, you'll see it looks pretty realistic, but um, it's not 100% convincing yet because we've only got this one light source. So what we're going to add is something called an environment um, um, light. So you can download from um, the internet if you were to look for, um, uh, in Google Images, for studio lighting, um, studio lighting HDR environment maps. And you'll see what kinds of things come up. So you can find these online to download for free. Um, or, you can make, or you can make them yourself. So they're, they're basically studio lighting setups. Um, they, they will simulate uh, studio lighting for you. Um, so there's lots of different ones, lots of different lighting setups you can get. Uh, different ones will, will, will give you different types of results. Um, so you can download those and you can play around with them. Um, I'm going to use one in here, which um, I've already downloaded. Um, so I'm going to show you now how to apply that. So over here in our um, world, we're going to click Use Nodes. And you want to have a background surface selected. And then for color, we're going to choose Environment Texture. You'll see that makes everything a little bit funny color because we need to open our environment texture. So wherever you've um, downloaded that environment texture to um, is what you want. So I've got one here. Let's switch over to that. So you'll see this is it. And I'm going to open that up. And you'll see now it gives us just some more light, some more reflections, and a bit more realism to our um, image there. So you can turn up the strength of this if you want. So you can have more light coming from those lights or less. Um, so obviously more light gives us more reflections and, 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 and uh, you know, so you can turn up a little bit too much. You don't want to overdo this effect. You just want enough to give you some nice reflections off of the glass. Um, so you can see that now, you know, we have these nice reflections here and here. So these are reflections of the, of the lights. So that's what you want to use to just add a little bit more realism to your um, renders. So I hope you found this tutorial tip useful and uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest tips and tricks from Blender. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.